ITA for asking my mother to leave because she won't stop wasting my food. My baby sister just had a baby and our mom came to help. My sister and her husband live in a tiny apartment with no room for my mom. I agreed to let her stay with me since I live only eight blocks away. It's walkable. My plan was to Uber her over in the morning and pick her up after work. I only eat one meal a day during the week. Supper. I have coffee for breakfast and some fruit for lunch. On Saturday, I treat myself to a good breakfast and Sundays I take the woman I'm dating for brunch. My mother decided that this was unacceptable. She got up early and went through my fridge and freezer to make me breakfast. I told her that I appreciate it but that I do not usually eat breakfast. She said that was stupid. I very clearly communicated to her that she was welcome to eat anything in my home but to please not make me breakfast as it was a waste. She made breakfast the following day. I walked out without eating it. I figured worst case scenario I could eat it for supper. She threw it out since I didn't eat it. I told her once more to please not waste my food. She made breakfast for me the next day. I asked her if she was developing dementia. She is wasting my food for no good reason. I'm not poor or anything but wasting food is a pet peeve of mine. She said I was being ungrateful for her help and she was doing it to be nice since I was letting her stay with me. I explained to her again that I did not need, want, require, or desire breakfast during the week. She said she understood. She made me breakfast the next day. I had had enough. I took her luggage with me when I dropped her off at my sister's home. I told my doorman that my guest was no longer welcome. I got so many messages from her and my sister all day long. Even my dad called me to ask me to change my mind. I said no. He had to drive up and rent an Airbnb close to my sister because my mom was too scared to stay by herself. He's retired so he didn't miss work or anything. My sister came over alone to talk to me. She said I was being a complete ass and that I could afford the food my mom was wasting. I said I could but that I didn't want to. She literally used up two months worth of my food. She made up huge breakfast that I didn't even eat. I keep all my bacon in individual servings. She thought out three for every breakfast. One for her and two for me. And I ate zero. My father has asked me to let her back in. I said I would under the condition that she understand that my food is completely off limits to her. She can pay for her own food. I said I would make room in the fridge and freezer for her. She said I was being ridiculous and petty. So my dad is staying neutral but my mom and sister think I'm a jackass. My girlfriend thinks the whole thing is hilarious band refuses to get involved. NTA. Sounds more like your mother was initiating a power play and that she would have continued wasting your food, which she knew bothered you, but that was the point, until you capitulated. Then she would have one. You throwing her out was inconvenient, so of course you had to be the bad guy. But that shouldn't have been necessary if your mother had been the least bit reasonable. People tend to take the easier route, and asking a reasonable person to capitulate is much easier than asking an unreasonable person to be reasonable. Well said. I'm quite sure that the rest of the family bends to this behavior of hers just to not have the drama she goes into. Entirely too common. I can understand wanting to avoid drama, but enabling toxic behavior isn't the solution. It's time for the family to address this issue head on. Three unwanted and uneaten breakfasts in, and you couldn't get much clearer. I explained to her again that I did not need, want, require, or desire breakfast during the week. She said she understood. She made me breakfast the next day. Maybe that dementia suspicion should be taken seriously. Realistically, six. He says he freezes things like bacon into individual portion and his mom took two out for each breakfast. For his serving. Yes, she made four. But it was after breakfast three that the clarity of the message, don't need, want, require, or desire, was supposedly understood. And then she went ahead and prepared the fourth breakfast. So she wasted eight days worth of his food. A Saturday breakfast for himself, for two months. I don't know where y'all live, but bacon prices in Canada are insane. $28 to $32 for the brand and amazing that would be for two months. NTA. You're a grown adult. You're allowed to set boundaries between yourself and your parents, and you're allowed to have as much distance between them as you want when they've been violating those boundaries. Your mother wasn't respecting the way you live, so now she's no longer a part of that. Simple. Whilst I do think breakfast an important meal, I'd be a hypocrite to agree with her as I skip it too. I do intermittent fasting, so I also only have one meal a day, late afternoon slash early evening. As long as you're having a nicely portioned, nutritionally balanced meal, it's not stupid like she suggests. It's backed up by nutritionists and dietitians. Not to mention the food waste. If she isn't paying for something, it's rude of her to throw it away.
She can sort out her living situation herself since she clearly doesn't care to show some respect to you when you've kindly let her stay with you and already tried to explain your issues, which she refused to listen to. I read somewhere that the whole breakfast is the most important meal of the day is actually an old advertising slogan for a breakfast food company. There is a lot of information out there these days that says this isn't so. If you were to Google it, you wouldn't have any difficulty finding it. I am on a break now, but am about to resume keto in combination with intermittent fasting. When I do that, my routine is lunch shortly after 12 p.m. and an evening meal around 7 p.m., then nothing the rest of the time. It works for me. But even when I am not doing that, I still don't eat breakfast and haven't since my early teens. Eating early in the day just makes me feel nauseous for the next couple of hours, which is unpleasant and gets in the way of being able to get to work and be productive. If someone tried to force me to not only eat breakfast every day, but large breakfasts, in spite of me clearly telling them I don't want to, I would boot them out too. And I agree with OP refood wastage, it's a pet peeve of mine as well. His mother was doing it deliberately. Good on him for calling her bluff. More info needed. To me this sounds like your mother is worried you have an eating disorder and was trying to do what she could to get you to eat. You said that you only eat one meal a day as a grown adult male. You portion your bacon out into individual servings. Your mother used three servings to make one breakfast, presumably for the two of you to share. Yet after doing this three times, she has wasted two months' worth of food. From what you have written, I can see why she might be worried. Am I missing something? You might consider investing whether you do in fact have an eating disorder. NTA. Your home. Your rules. You made it absolutely clear that you don't eat breakfast and not to make you any and multiple times. I suggest messaging your mom and sister, probably should a dad just so that he can stay in the loop. Stop calling me an ass. I have done nothing wrong other than enforcing boundaries and respect in MY home. If anyone is an ass it's mom for continually disrespecting me by disregarding my boundaries and ignoring my clear statement that she was welcome to make herself breakfast, but not to make any for me since that isn't a meal I eat. It's not about the money, and only partly about the food waste which I hate doing. It's about the complete lack of respect for myself and my rules in my home. The only way I would consider allowing her to even return to my home for a visit is with a genuine apology and recognition of her inappropriate behavior in another person's home. In TA, but did you actually see the food in the garbage? I'm just saying. Maybe mom is a bacon fiend and would rather have you think she's being stubborn than know she's eating three servings worth of bacon and eggs every day. In TA, her wasting all that food is nuts. I also think it would be healthier if you had a small breakfast daily, but that is still your choice. What the heck was she trying to accomplish? NTA. The issue isn't the food, it's that your mother knows she's doing something that annoys and upsets you, and she keeps doing it anyway. Next she was gonna go through the closets and throw out the clothes she doesn't like. And then the night stands for anything unsavory. She probably set up an appointment for Opie with the local pediatrician, since Opie clearly isn't serious about good health. 